Hey, welcome back. We're just here after we fight, beat the first boss. We got golden hair. It's our combat trophy. These magnificent locks shine like spun gold. What? Y you took his hair? Look, I just did what everybody was thinking. I wasn't thinking that! Are you thinking that? It's rare that I collect dead people's hair. Well, that's a policy I support. What am I going to do with all this grey hair? Man, this is going to keep me up all night. Now, while we're here, we best grab this. No, this. An inactive robot. This is the best, most complete model of the vice you have seen. It smoulders with steel lust. Yeah. Friggin' awesome. This seems hot. We got the on switch. Don't worry, I'll make sense why we have that later. Alright, now we should get he head back to Anne Claire's, but first, we're gonna drop off this meet at our good friend Gerard's. Well, with our good friend Gerard. Damn, we we've we've committed like a serious serious friggin' crime here. I mean we've killed like millions of homeless people. Ooh, box of fireworks. Ooh, back in the shithole. Head out. And that is everything we need to do on Hobo Alley done. So we'll say goodbye to Hobo Alley, people. We're never coming back. Can you blame us? Look at this place. It's a shithole. Ooh, do, 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 do. So that was the first boss of the... Oh, Christ, there's more. You know, I sort of hope that was it. I'm really dead. Apparently I was wrong. Just, just playing for the man, Claire. Fuck. I lost my massive combo. That was like in the twenties or shit, man. It's depressing. Boom. All right. Yay. Ooh, Tycho got his new attack as well. He got the gas cap. And here's Gerard. Now thankfully we've decided to give him some ingredients for his soup. Dropped up hobo meat, but don't tell him that. The kettles are low. Without more certified meats, I don't know what I'll do. Here you go, Gerard. Heaps of fresh, certified, y you know, meat. I'll be the judge of that. Gerard Kettle examines the supply. It says delicious right on it. That sets my mind at ease. Let's get this charity meat into the pot. He stirs and stews and smiles. Alright, who's hungry? Dude, I'm not fucking eating there. The meat of human kindness. Case closed. I'll take some. He ladles up a heaping helping of hot hobo juice. It tastes slightly of wet felt, but the warmth goes deep. Renewed vigor from a dark source. That's plus 50 health HP to us. Now throughout both of the games there's quite a few opportunities like that in which you can increase your player's health. I also forgot to show you, this is the um, music collection in which you collect um, different stuff. <laughs> it has no real purpose other than to be really entertaining. Oh, we must have missed a couple of hobo. We must have missed a robot part in that factory. But that doesn't matter. I've already got the achievement for that. So let's head to Anne Claire's factory. In fact, I might have to go back, like, off screen and collect it so that I can get all the stuff I need to upgrade weapons and shit. So, up Anne Claire, we're back and we're covered in dead hobo juice. No, talk to her, not the range. Dumbass. Uncle, you look frayed. Aye, child. To the very bone. We return with a prototype of the larger robot. It's Science Christmas! It's Science Miss! She gets to work immediately, revolving the head several times and removing it straight upward. Uncle, the creator's name has been filed off, which is strange. But look here where it's marred. Its behaviors have been radically altered. I should be able to... Her deft hands work with grace inside the machine. There, and... Oh! 
And Claire produces a brush and a tin of paint. The, the paint is pink! Someone please tell me why she's doing that. Passes. Someone please explain the last ten minutes! Wh where am I? Painting robots is its own reward. I often do things which I feel are entirely obvious. Only to learn that I am the only one who thinks so. I apologize. I just thought you might like a new friend. Fuchsia! He, she's our final support character. Let's see. I don't have enough parts to up. Oh, we do! 50 parts to upgrade Tycho's gun. Tycho's weapon needs a little work. I think. What? No, it doesn't! Tycho, I, I didn't want to say anything, but... It too, Gabriel! And Claire tries another approach. Uncle, don't you want a weapon that says sophistication? Greater sophistication, rather? Yes, but... Place the weapon in my care, Uncle. I will treat it with the proper reverence. That's it. Good man. Now you may want to avert your eyes. Tommy Gun Plus! This traditional firearm has been tuned robotically. Alright, we won't be able to upgrade anything for a little while. So, what's next? You're absolutely certain there's no more to discover at Pelican Bay? Not completely, no. We'll take a closer look. We'll come back later. Good luck! Alright, now we venture to Pelican Bay. Like I say, I'll get that last robot part off camera. Now, Pelican Bay has 450 robot pieces, so we'll no doubt be able to finish, upgrade all our weapons. This area is huge, by the way. It's filled with mini games, robots, warriors, clowns with exploding noses, mimes, mime gods, just all sorts of shit resides here. Let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to Swindle again. The man straightens up before you draw him. Blah, the man before you draw himself up straight. Simulating respectability. Curtis Swindle, reputable vendor, despite what you may have heard. Or even directly experienced. We have a ticket now, let us in. Here's our ticket to the boardwalk. Yeah, but that's a family ticket. We expend those special tickets to loving families. Surely you don't expect me to believe that you lot are related to one another. That guy is some kind of hairy half man, and <laughs> that other guy is some kind of albino marmot. I don't even know how to describe you. Seriously, look at how related we are! Right. People in our families are generally well armed. I see. We tend to carry machine guns. Y yes, I can see that. We can also punish people really hard. Yes, really hard. I understand. Like, BAM! Curtis Swindle, reputable vendor, fumbles inside his kiosk for the button. The gate to Pelican Bay is now open! There we go, we can now enter Pelican Bay. Can't bear all these savings, I must flee! Blah 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 blah, skip that. Now we're in Pelican Bay. There's a bunch of shit here that we need to do. Let's meet up another guy. You see a mime, conspicuously garbed in a lab coat. He is going for some kind of stuck in a box thing with precision and gravity of a religious act. Suddenly he seems to take notice of you. Oh thank god, somebody who isn't a fucking lunatic. Well I wouldn't be so hasty. So you're just hanging out with... You're, so you're just hanging out, miming it up. I need help. I need it so bad! We get this a lot. Not like this, you don't. This may come as a surprise to you, but I was once a mime. Get out of town! No, it's true. I served their dark god, bringing huge swaths to this place under his mute dominion. I've heard enough. What can we do? Oh, you can't stop it. It's impossible. Their god is the dark hush of the Evernight. He's the utter quiet of a casket sealed in the mountain tomb. So you told us all this because... I don't know, just making conversation, I guess. Mimes have a dark god? If you want to register a cult legally, you have to have a dark god. It's like the first blank on the form, hideous deity. 
I did know it was also... official. Their god's power grows in silence, reaching its apex when he devours the universe and all things become still in his belly. The other mimes are obsessed with bringing the silent one into being in this plane. And listen, you have to understand that it wasn't always like this with mimes. I used to be all imaginary lampposts and OH NO NOT A BOX! That was all before they found the book. And I think there's a video clip up next, so I'll just stop the video here and I'll stick it in the next one. See you guys.